So, so let's, let's talk, talk about, about understanding paralysis. paralysis. Yes. yes, you have been putting calcium in your feed and you are not getting results. You have been adding vitamin to your water and you are not getting results. It seems all your efforts are not working. So let's try to get the understanding of paralysis in details today in this video. I'm going to be dividing this video into three easy steps. Number one is the birds. Number two is action of the farmer. And number three is the hatchery problem. So let's go into detailed explanation of these three easy steps I'm going to be sharing in this video. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. It's your number one economic and extension farmer. This channel is always about efficiency, how we can minimize wastage and maximize our profit. We also move outside the box to look for information on how to solve our poultry problem. If you have any problem, let us know in this channel. We'll tackle it together as a one family channel. So understanding paralysis in detail is what today's video is all about. You may want to watch this video to the end, so don't go anywhere. The first part, which is understanding the best. Under this first part, I'm going to be talking on the genetic makeup of the birds. Yes, when you are treating a paralysis, you have to understand the genetic history or the genetic makeup of the birds. There are birds that are easy to be paralyzed at three weeks. There are birds that are easily paralyzed as they are growing. This is because of their genetic makeup. It's not because of the lack of calcium or lack of vitamin B2 or anything you feel it can lead to leg paralysis. So it is from their genetic makeup. For instance, you see a doctor when treating disease often and often on a particular patient, they will try to go further in looking or asking the patient on the genetic history or, or going back to check the history if any of their parents or their forefathers have experienced such issues. This will help them to know what or how to treat a particular problem. So understanding a genetic makeup of a bird can help to know how to treat the problem or the leg issues properly. Number two is the weight of the birds. Yes, when your chickens is having paralysis, try to get the weight of the birds to know if the paralysis is coming from overweight or not. There are weights that are more than the carcass of the chickens and if it's going like that, chances are that your chickens will not be able to work well or you are going to be having paralysis. And the second phase of this topic which is the action of the farmer. Yes, as a poultry farmer, your poultry farm is your business. Handling your business with care and putting your management schedule into consideration will help you to go a long way in poultry farming. So what are the things that farmers are doing and is leading to leg issues in their poultry farming? The first thing I will talk is poor locomotion. Yes, if you are a poultry farmer and you are giving your chickens poor locomotion, chances are that you are going to be experiencing leg problem. If you are a broiler farmer, you are to give a 1.5 square feet of space to a particular broiler. If you are a pullet farmer, you are to give 1.7 square feet to a particular Bullets, so as they can be given enough space for locomotion, enough space to be able to move so that they can exercise their legs. Number two is the position of the drinkers and the position of the feeders. If your feeders are always on the floor and your chickens are sitting down to eat, they are going to be overweighted also, which will lead to leg issues. Yes, so as a poultry farmer, in order to avoid or prevent leg issues from happening, you should make sure that your feeders or drinkers are always high above the ground. So as your chickens are growing, make sure you are extending the height of the feeders or the drinkers. This will help to prevent leg issues in your poultry farming. Number three is the environmental management. The environmental management in the sense that when your litters are always dirty or your pen are dirty, it will call for what? Rats. Rats will be coming into your pen every night. And when they are coming into your pen, as soon as they touch your chicken, they will want to like stand up and start running immediately. Unconscious movements from the chickens can cause leg issues in your poultry farming. So try as much as you can as a poultry farmer to manage your pen very well. 
Now, the third part of this video, which is the Ashri problem, is number one. When eggs are heated before incubation, it can lead to poor bone formation or poor bone structure, which can cause paralysis when your chickens get to you from two weeks. You will start experiencing this Ashri problem from one week over to two weeks when your chickens are trying to develop their their body you see that they will start developing a poor bone structure you will start experiencing this from one week and above which when tried to treat will not reverse easily number two is when eggs are overheated the first week of incubation it can also lead to leg issues or paralysis and i'm going to be adding a bonus disease Diseases like Merrick disease or and Newcastle disease can also lead to paralysis. Merrick disease can be prevented through vaccines. Mostly Merrick disease vaccines are being given in the hatchery before coming to you. And disease like Newcastle disease can be treated or prevented when they get to the farmers. So the hatcheries have tried their best a lot before chickens will come to you. The hatcheries are really working. In, in their best to make sure they give you quality day old chicks. So the hatcheries are really trying. They did the, a round of applause for the hatcheries all over the world. They are really, really trying. Before the best come to you, they make sure that merit vaccines are administered. And even the overheating at the first week of incubation is now history when it comes to what the hatcheries are doing now. And even Heating the eggs before incubation is now history when it comes to what the hatcheries are doing now. So the hatcheries are trying their best to make sure that they old quality chicks are supplied to you as a farmers. So a round of applause once again for the hatcheries. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. If you like what we are doing in this channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you'll be getting our old and new videos. Love you guys from Farmers Hope. Bye.